just to explain what I'm talking about a little bit better with these batteries, with the, why I think it's the battery pack. So this is the battery pack that came out of the, uh, or this is the original battery pack that was in the UPS that we're, we're messing with. Um, it's two, battery, two 12 volt batteries bridged together uh, with this little contraption. So um, both of these are 12 volts. Now, uh, what I have here to test the batteries is I have them hooked up to, um, to a multimeter. And uh, so we're measuring the voltage with, with these two alligator clips going to those probes over there. Uh, and then I have the power hooked up to a fan right here. This is a, a little, little um, cooling fan out of a server rack mount server and uh, it pulls a whole bunch of amps um, it's 12 volts still but uh, enough amps that we can tell if the battery is going to be uh, going to be bad on us so what I'll do is I'll hook it up and we'll see what the voltage drop looks like never got below 12 volts that fan spooled all the way up uh, speed leveled out so what we'll do is we'll switch this to this battery and then we'll see what that one does all right we're hooked up on the uh, second battery and we're reading 12.74 so what I'll do now is I'll hook up the same fan that we had hooked up to the other one See, that battery's weak. We're already down to 8 volts. I mean, this, this battery's toast at this point. Uh, it can't handle a 12 volt load. So, dead. Still got some life in her. Uh, but these were part of the same pack, so as soon as they started to share a load, this one would cause the voltage to drop so bad that the UPS couldn't, uh, couldn't, couldn't take it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip apart the brand new battery pack from APC and I'm going to see if this is the case. I figured I may as well open this battery pack up, uh, video opening this battery pack so that um, I can know how it goes back together and um, you can too. So the green side, this is the red side. This part would go down into the UPS. This is the, the two connectors. I've taken an X-Acto knife and split down the side right there. And here you can see the two connectors. So you have one going to the positive, one going to the negative. So this negative goes up to the primary connector. This positive goes up into the primary connector. And this positive goes to the negative of the other battery. So I'm gonna slide all this apart. We'll put it on the bench, get it set up in the test rig, and uh, we'll see what it does. Okay, we're in the test rig, and um, you know, same fan hooked up. Uh, I've liked to test this battery first because this one already shows some signs of uh, some corrosion, so something's Something's a little funky on that one. Um, right now we're getting 13.24, which is a uh, pretty healthily charged 12 volt battery. So we're gonna connect it, and then we're gonna see what the, the voltage drop looks like on there. 13.21, there's the fan. Okay, so it dropped a little bit. Um, and then it started to recover quite nicely, so we're back at we're back at over thir thirteen. So, um, 
we know this guy's good. So we'll switch the rig to this one and we'll see what we got. So I've scraped off some of the corrosion just to um, give that connector a fighting chance. And uh, it's not looking good. Not looking good for this battery at all. Um, we're already at 1107. Um, I have a feeling we're not going to get that much when we um, hook up the fan. But let's do it anyway. All right. Ooh, 10, 8, 4. Yeah, the fan's not happy right now, so. Dead. Dead as a doornail. So, maybe what I'll do is I'll take this good battery and the good battery that we found in the other pack, put them together to make one hopefully good pack, um, and then we'll see what that does in the UPS. All right, not tea bag. Um, the batteries, the good batteries, were backwards, of course. Um, so I had to flip them so they're not they're not really matched up. But at least I still have pulled two pull tabs at the top, and I uh, used some packing tape and uh, some prayers and dreams to hold it together. Uh, so let's put it back in the UPS, turn it on, see what happens. Okay, so we're back together, and uh, we got the trusty Juniper switch hooked up along with the uh, multimeter, so we can see what she's outputting. Let's see. Oh, snap, I'm still on DC volts here. Whoa, whoa. There we go. All right, so now we're on AC volts. Turn this on. Clickety clack. So we got one twenty two, seven, eight. Oh, one hundred two. That's weird. So it's on battery. Okay. So it was doing a test, I guess. So, green lights on that, we're in at 123 volts, 122.6 according to the meter, doing events, estimated runtime 40 minutes, that's a whole lot better than the 14 we were getting earlier, load 50 some odd watts, nearly 60 like we had before, percent load. Yeah, 122. All right, so we're getting pretty much straight out. So let's see what she does. Turn it off. All right, we're on battery power. 101 is a bit low. And I don't know if you can hear this fan over the other one, but it's like we're outputting 104 volts, and it sounds like this thing's fine. We've got two green lights on the back. I guess we're good. I guess we got a, a dead battery pack from uh, from APC there. So, all right, we'll. Uh... I don't like that 107 though. That seems low. Maybe it's just because I'm used to 120 over here. That's probably with inspect. Let's find out if that's inspect. Alright, let's turn the AC back on. And the, uh, the old Juniper switch down there never missed a beat. So I killed the power with no load on this thing, and it's floating around a hundred volts. Um, 
runtime says it's uh, 135 minutes. Nah, it's probably not gonna. It it's probably smart enough to not try too hard when there's no load on it. Um, let's see if I have a different load I can put on it. Well, I think that low voltage sag is normal for UPSs because um, I tested a couple other UPSs I have laying around the house that I know work and handle loads just fine, and uh, it seems like you know around 90 to 100 volts, maybe a little bit more, uh, is, seems normal-ish. Um, so I guess that's uh, that's what our problem was. It's a bad battery pack, as I didn't think in the first 18-minute video. So. Um, that's that.